sorry to interrupt. I got a lead that sounds pretty good. A case I'm working on. Oh. I gotta go. Well, I'll go with you. Anytime. And my door is always open for you. You know that. Bye. Adriana! I just have one thing to say to you. You keep your hands off my daughter. You interfering, condescending bitch. You keep your hands off my daughter. You condescending, interfering bitch. My God, Dorian, have you completely lost it? I know I'm happy to report I've never been saner in my life, and I know exactly what you're up to. You know what? I don't have the patience for you today. Do you think I didn't see you hugging my daughter? Do you think I didn't see you last night with Clint at Capricorn? How do you know about that? Because I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. Dorian, what is going on here? You know that my relationship with Adriana has been strained these days. And I was simply asking Vicky not to interfere. Oh, for heaven's sake, she didn't ask me anything. You saw me talking to Adriana, you lost your temper, and you made a scene. It was vintage Dorian. Vintage this. She was telling Adriana how sorry she felt for her, having me as a mother. I would never, ever say anything like that. Adriana needed a little comfort, since that seems to be the last thing she can get from you lately. She came to me. And what was I supposed to do? Reward her for deliberately sabotaging my romantic evening with Cliff when she knows how important it was to me? In case you hadn't guessed, it was Dorian. Oh, yes, yes, I know. Dorian rented all of Capricorn for a romantic evening. Adriana found out about it, locked you in the closet, and sent you there instead. How do you know all of that? David told me. He didn't want you to know that, but too late now. I had nothing but good intentions. Adriana, on the other hand, her sole mission these days is to make my life miserable. As if it isn't painful enough that my daughter hates me, there's the added humiliation of having this woman laugh at me behind my back. You know, Dorian, there's nothing remotely amusing about any of this. In fact, when Adriana told me that she had locked you in a closet, I... I told her she was in danger of becoming a little too much like you. You sanctimonious, pretentious, arrogant... Dorian, stop it! Can you hear yourself? What am I supposed to do, Clint? Stand here? and be gracious while Vicky tries to poison my daughter against me? No, look, you didn't need any help making Adriana hate you. You did that all by yourself. And what you did to break up Rex and Adriana, it was wrong, stupid, and dangerous. I know, I made a terrible mistake Not hiring Dorian. Rex. It was a catastrophic mistake. But I was only trying to protect Adriana. By nearly getting her killed? The last thing I wanted to do was to put Adriana in danger. I would rather die myself. Well, I believe that. How big of you, Vicky? Dorian, would you stop it? This is getting so tired. Dorian, I know how hard it is for you to admit that you were wrong. But if you don't do it this time, you're going to lose Adriana for good. Oh, and you'd love that, wouldn't you? Excuse me! You're trying to turn Adriana and Clint against me. Of course you're taking her side. Vicky is Miss Perfection personified. Yeah, I'm taking her side, but only because I happen to agree with her. Thank you. Oh, and of course you do, because she has undermined your confidence in me the same way she has done that with anyone I've ever been involved with. It's a pattern. It's vintage Vicky. The only pattern here is you making a total mess of things and trying to blame it on someone else. Are you going to deny to my face that you're trying to poison Adriana against me? Yes, of course I will deny it. Absolutely flat out deny it. In fact, what I was trying to tell Adriana was... You know what? Never mind. I'm not getting in the middle of this. You already are. Fine. But no more, Dorian. I have had it with your lunacy. Now and forever. You have problems with Clint and your daughter. You work them out. I came here for a cup of decaf. Now I have cold coffee and a headache. Well, she's got it right. Leaving is a damn good idea. Clint, please wait. Give me a chance to explain. 
You can't explain. It's inexcusable, it's inexplicable, and you know how I feel about it. Yes, but I meant I wanted to explain about that romantic dinner I had planned. At oh. Fine, but let's do it someplace else. The very least you can do is allow me to make you that coffee you wanted to have. Never mind the coffee. I'm here for your explanation. Not so much that I care, it's that I'm curious. What was that display at Capricorn all about? Mm. Well, I wanted to surprise you. We were barely speaking to each other. Did you think that champagne and dinner was going to solve our problems? I know the way it looked, but... I wasn't just trying to seduce you. Dorian, I don't want to hear what you weren't trying to do. Now, you start telling me the truth, or I'm out of here. All right. Here it is. The truth and nothing but. Anything to protect our children if we felt they were being threatened. And that's how I felt when Rex started moving in on my daughter. The point the point okay i knew how upset and angry you would be when spencer announced to the world that he was ace's illegitimate son my heart went out to you and your family but of course more to you <laughs> i wanted to help i wanted to give you emotional support but as you said you were barely speaking to me and that's when i arranged the dinner Dorian, come on. Getting Capricorn clothes and arranging that dinner, that had to have happened before Truman made his announcement, right? So, so much for you being able to tell me the truth. I will admit, I did set up the dinner before Spencer made his announcement about being a Buchanan. So you did lie? No. Because, you see, I knew about it before everybody else did. Mm-hmm. David told me. That's irrelevant. No, it's not. You see, David went to Asa and confronted him. Then he went to Spencer. And then he confided the truth to me. And I wanted to be the one to tell you. That's why I set up the dinner. I didn't want you blindsided. I wanted you to hear about it from somebody who cares. Dorian, why didn't you simply tell me then? Why the big setup? Because I wanted you to be as comfortable as possible, and once Spencer made that announcement in the courtroom, it didn't seem to matter. Okay, here's the truth. I was afraid that you would think that I was involved in some sort of a conspiracy with David. You were already suspicious enough about our relationship. Oh, yeah, with good reason. <sighs> I know that you have trouble believing me about that, but please, tell me that you believe me about this. Oh, God, the story is so convoluted, it's got to be true. It's exhausting following your logic, Dorian. Well, then, why don't you have a cookie with the coffee? Sure. And why don't we just reconsider this whole notion about us having dinner together what do you say i say until let me think about it